What's up, fellas? It's a great day for working out. It's also a great day for answering some of your questions, which is exactly what I do here. Every Monday, I pick the top three questions from the comment box below. Winner of the best question gets free access to my 80-20 results course, which is everything you need to know about getting workout results and having the right mindset to get the body you want with nothing you don't. So with that being said, let's jump into your first question. Mr. Frosty, does the process of muscle building and repairing depend on how you sleep? I feel that my arm is bigger than my, my right arm is bigger than my left, and I sleep on my left and put pressure on my left arm. Does this have any effect? Um, no, in that sense, it doesn't. You know, sleeping on your right or left side is not going to make one arm bigger than the other. Sleep is important for muscle, overall muscle growth and, and muscle repair. So you do want to try and get at least six hours, ideally eight, when, you know, when you're really serious about putting on some muscle mass. And, you know, this kind of jumps into another question, which there's a lot of sub-questions to this, which is, you know, I'm, I feel that this is bigger than that, whether it's like your pecs, I saw one, you know, one less bigger than the other, your arms bigger than the other, and, you know, a couple things. Um, first, I'll just, you know, just my opinion, it, it, who, you know, I don't know, why, why does it matter, you know, like, I'm sure, I guarantee you, if I, like, sat here and measured my arms or something, one's going to be bigger than, a little bit bigger than the other, but, like, you know, who cares? Uh, we're not work, you know, I don't think you should be, I think it's, that's focusing on the wrong thing, okay, right, we, part of being successful and working out and getting results is focus, and focus on the right aspects, and that's kind of what I talk about in the 80-20, but here, it's just a matter of, you don't focus on what you don't have or what's not working, you focus on the fact, hey, you've been going to the gym, and you've been working out, and that's a good thing. If you really, if your arms are noticeably ones noticeably bigger than the other, it probably will stem back to incorrect form. Um, if you're doing single arm dumbbells or something like that, maybe you're just doing one side a little bit more, and and you can just try and work the si other side out a little bit harder. But at the end of the day, I would really encourage you to not worry so much, uh, or really don't put a lot of stock into you know my lats a little bit bigger than the next one or than the other, and sometimes. If, you, if you're not measuring and checking, it may just look bigger. It may not even, there may not actually be a difference. But again, I, I really wouldn't put a whole lot of stock or waste energy, you know, negative energy into, into that. All right, hope it helps. All right, Parker9495 says, Dear Ryan, I've been lifting off and on for a year now, but the economy has really hit me and my family hard, so I can't get to the gym every day, so I'm basically stuck with body weight exercises. I have dumbbells, but they are very light, and I can't do much with them. I'm getting a little frustrated and running out of motivation fast without getting results. I understand it takes time, and nutrition is the main part. Any tips? Thanks so much. Love your channel. Smiley face. Well, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's definitely... You know, that's one of the great things about working out is even with you know a tough economy and, and you're struggling in, in these types in these times it's always good to go to the gym or just do some home workouts to kind of work off that stress and help kind of release maybe some of your creative energies it's just you know it's it's good thing to do um, you know now similar to the last question I would say you know one a challenge here is to don't get caught up in what you can't do right it's very easy to think of all the things that you can't do uh, you know when you're working at home oh I can't can't do bench press I can't do this can't do that like that's that not interested in that what we want to do is focus on what you can do and there are plenty of good body weight exercises you can do um, you know, if you haven't you can download my home my home workout there's a lot of body workout ex uh, body weight exercises in there just check YouTube, you don't have to do mine, anybody else's, there's plenty of them. Um, and what it comes down to, like you said, is, is maintaining discipline and staying committed, right? And that doesn't matter, wealth is not a matter, you know, it's not a factor there, it's just a matter of you working hard and staying committed and believing in getting the results that you want to achieve. All right, so hope that helps. All right, OMREG123 says, hey, I have a lot of, well, actually he doesn't say hey, I just threw that in there. I have a lot of excess skin from fat loss. What can I do to remedy this problem without surgery? Well, hey, first of all, good job on the fat loss, right? If you've got some excess skin, you've obviously lost a lot of weight, so you should be proud of that. Um, you know, one thing to keep in mind with skin, you know, depending on, it, it depends on a lot of things. Uh, first of all, your age and how rapidly you lost the weight and did you you know, do it in kind of a healthy manner where it's one to two pounds a week or, or you know, that even that can depend on how much you weighed before and how much you weighed now. You know, to answer your question, 
you know, just make sure you're eating a lot of good food. It does take, it can take time. You know, your skin was basically stretched out. It's not like a rubber band where it's immediately going to go back to where it was, but your skin is elastic and it will return. Uh, make sure the biggest thing I would, I would just say that you could do is drink a lot of water. So if you haven't already, go through my how to drink water course. It's free. Just go through my YouTube videos. It's in there and make sure you're drinking tons of water. That will help speed up the process. Um, and in the meantime, enjoy your new body. All right, fellas, that'll do it for another episode of Mind Food Monday. Go ahead and put your questions for next week in the comment box below, and we'll get to those. Uh, Parker9495, you are the winner, my friend, of the 8020 course this week. So go ahead and put a comment in the comment box below so I know you saw this video. I'll get you squared away with that. Everybody else, have a good week. Lift hard. I'll see you next Monday.